Andrew Badillo. He has your VIP pass. Rob Strano has been teaching golf clinics at TPC Sawgrass for the last 20 years or so. Now, after two decades, the teacher says he's taken away a lesson or two from his students over the years. Golf takes a lot of patience and focus. You know, you have to hit it just right to get it to go the right direction, and that's a new experience that I'm getting used to now. Tuesday, Edward Webb and several of his Florida School for the Deaf and Blind classmates picked up a club for the first time. I can feel the reverberation of that ball against the club. These kids have taught me a ton about the ability to learn and the focus it takes to learn the game. That's been the main thing. They come out, they have fun, and they remind me that golf is about fun. Rob Strano is a former professional golfer and has been holding clinics for deaf students for years. I don't have any connection to the deaf community. No deaf family members, friends. I'd never seen sign language. It was just something that God put on my heart one day to learn sign language, and I kind of went, okay, why? Mm -hmm. I don't have a, a position in this community. And then it was revealed to me that there was no one teaching the deaf how to play golf in sign language. And that became my heart, my passion, my goal for my academy. Kids learn to putt and how to swing. It's a game that can be disheartening, but with patience, focus, and some instruction, it can inspire. For the first time today, I had that inspiration to potentially become a golfer. Now, the five plus hour long clinic culminates with a shot on a replica 17th green inside TPC Sawgrass. It's a chance for these students to put their lessons to the test. At Dyes Valley, Andrew Badillo, First Coast Sports.